Hello everyone, my name is Adam Murray Bills Vox and welcome back to another Windows 10 Tips tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how to play Blu-ray movies for free in Windows 10 without needing to buy Cyberlink Power DVD or any of those crazy expensive programs. The program we're going to be using is called the Leo, Leo, -wo, Leo, -woo. I'll put the link in the description below, Blu-ray player. So download the installer and it'll download Blu-ray player setup.exe. I'm going to go ahead and run it so we can install it here. So we're going to agree to the license agreement because that's required for us to install it. Your default installation directory should be fine. You can change it if you want. And then we're going to create a desktop icon and click install. We're just going to make sure it doesn't ask us to install any other things. You always want to be careful of that whenever you're running program installers. You want to make sure you're not agreeing to any sort of toolbars or anything like that. It did not ask us for anything and it does, does not appear to have installed anything else. So we're going to go ahead and launch it after we finish and click finish. And it's going to open up this Levo Blu-ray player. Now you can use this to play specific video files. If you have any sort of video files you want to play, you can do that. So like, for example, I just did a tutorial on how to rip DVDs in Windows 10. You can play that file with this player. And it's going to play our movie rip right here. And then we can skip around. We can go full screen, we can come out of full screen, etc. We don't want to watch the file, we want to watch an actual Blu-ray. So what I have here in my hand is the Sucker Punch Blu-ray Extended Cut, and I'm going to put that in my Blu-ray drive right now. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up my computer so you can see it show up, or rather this PC as it calls it in Windows 8 and 10. There we go, so there's my Blu-ray drive. Put my Sucker Punch Blu-ray in my Blu-ray ROM drive, wait for it to spin up and read the disk and know what it is. And it's probably going to automatically open CyberLink because that's what I have set up as my program defaults. But we can just close that and change that to be our Lewo player. Discs are incredibly so. There we go, see it's popping up, choose what happens with Blu-ray disc movies. We're going to tell it to open up here in this Lewo Blu-ray player. So it's going to ask us, since this is our first time in Windows 10, we're going to tell it to open that, and boom, it sees that there's a Blu-ray in there. We're going to click play. Now it's going to tell you, which it's going to tell you for pretty much every movie, but that you can't control it with the mouse. Every once in a while, a movie, you can control it with the mouse, but generally speaking, with DVDs and movies, you can't use the mouse to control it. So instead, you have to use the arrow keys and enter keys. So click, simply click, let, click yes. And then it will pop up a controller if you want to use it, or you can just cl close out of it, because again, you can use your arrow keys and the enter keys. But if you want to just use it to navigate the menu, then you can do that just fine. Once you're at the movie menu here, you can simply click enter to play a movie and use your arrow keys to navigate around, or we can just go to play movie and hit enter to play your movie. Now you do have a full screen button down here, or you can just maximize it. If we just maximize it, it'll do this, but it'll have the controls over it. Or if we leave it in a small window to check it out and say we'll skip a scene over here. Then we can go full screen. And then by default it will play subtitles most likely. Again, it depends on your movie. Um, but you can right click and click subtitles and uncheck enable subtitles. And there we go. No more subtitles. And that's it. Keep in mind this program is free. You are able to play Blu-rays for free on your computer. Keep in mind, this does require that you have a Blu-ray drive in your system to put the disc in. It will not work in DVD drives, and you do have to have a powerful enough system to play a Blu-ray. So it was presumably if it came with a Blu-ray drive or you built it yourself, it should work. Not all laptops still work for it, but most desktops nowadays can come with it. And that's it. It's a free program, super easy to use, and you can play Blu-rays on Windows 10. I do hope this tutorial has been helpful for you. If it has, be sure to leave a like on the video, comment down below with what other Windows 10 tutorials you'd like to see, and subscribe to the channel for more awesome tech videos. My name's been Adam Maripos Vox, and this weekend we will be at the GameCon 2015, a convention down in Galveston, Texas, focused on games and awesome people and awesome things. And we're going to be at a couple panels and things like that, so if you're there, be sure to stop by and see us, or if you're in the area, you may want to stop by the convention yourself. And otherwise, there, there will be some videos up on the channel about it, so I'm just letting you know ahead of time. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. You've just watched another epic tech video from me, Epos Vox. Consider crushing that like button and subscribing to the channel. That way you never miss an upload.
Also, check the links in the description to follow me on Twitter and Facebook, and hit up our Patreon campaign for early access to videos. See you in the next Epic Tech video.